protect your barns and buildings. <laughs> the building. It doesn't cause more. Oh, there he goes. He's like the videos you watch, Christoph. He just falls through the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> We're okay. And we are going to try to somewhat fix this situation for the maple part. Not the rest of the shed, but we need to get this section situated because uh, we have all the maple lines that are crushed and the releaser and the vacuum pump in that little building at the tank here. Our sap hauling truck is stuck because it's holding up the wall right now. You can see that there's boards right there and there's a couple more behind it. So we are going to try to... We'll see if we can figure something out. Um, that truck's still running because it didn't want to build air because we didn't really put uh, any stuff in the air system for, for winter because we never use it in the winter, so it's never a big deal, but it was right now. And we pulled some of that stuff out that was in the way. But we're gonna put the batteries back on the Peterbilt because we took those off so it doesn't drain them when it's sitting there. And hopefully it'll fire up. I know when we brought it down here, it didn't want to start. Um, and we didn't put the best of batteries in it in the first place. So, well, we'll see. Probably won't start because they're not the best batteries anyways. Hopefully it does. You know, one of the boards we had there is gone, so I guess the wind bounced it and it fell. So good thing we had that one right here there. Birdie went to grab a battery charger. Like I thought, it's not starting, right? So how do you like your hat? Apparently, Good. is it keeping you warm? No school today, right? Yeah. So what's the plan for today? You want to tell them? Yeah, to get this shed off this truck and put back together. Somewhat, right? Yeah. Are you going to be telling us how to do it or are we going to show you how we think we're going to do it? Show you how. You're going to show us? No. <laughs> You're going to show me. <laughs> All righty. So that there's there was a couple boards, um, but when it must be when the windstorm happened, the second one it bounced a couple of them off. That one got screwed on, so that one couldn't go anywhere. Luckily, so it didn't fall against the truck again. But these ones are here, so it didn't fling back this way because we didn't know which way the wind was going to come. Anyways, um, Ferdy has the bit to open up these screws, but I'm gonna put the bucket up there, and we'll be able to fold this back upright and then we'll get that truck out and we're going to reinforce it from the cement on the inside um, so that way that wall don't move and we'll get all the walls situated and the plan is because this roof is basically all smashed to shit except for literally the section that was the sugar house or not sugar house the maple building part those rafters are they're in decent shape we don't know if it's just because um maybe the tin helped or because of where it landed because uh that got land that landed on all the pipeline right where that post is this whole section maybe that affected it um but anyways as long as we can keep it looking like that like it's not really destroyed the tins pulled off but we can kind of rig that back together as long as it stays pretty decent we're gonna try to flip it back around and set it back on top right um, yeah, so we're going to get this wall picked up right, we'll get the truck out, we'll get this back wall somewhat, f we got to rebuild some wood, and then um, we'll get that lifted up, and we'll go piece by piece. Yeah, should I start pulling this pipe out? You can go bring it in the other, the hay barn where we had all the other maple stuff. <laughs> He's on a mission. Yes, we're gonna have to clean that up better. But, at least he wants to help. So, we got Marcus here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna have to run this with an elbow if I wanna, you know, I didn't even tell him what to do. Like, but he's thinking, that's good. Cause I don't have the screw uh, tip to open up those screws. So he's trying to think of ways to let that slide without 
having to hold each one because he can only hold one at a time. So you can see that I'm gonna put this clamp down, not to clamp it, but that way the wall cannot. Okay, I'm gonna put this between my legs now. That way the wall cannot fly back this way. That's coming. Okay, we're gonna sit there for a second and hear a bunch of crackling. What do you think, Marcus? <laughs> if I had the other excavator here right now, I could do one in the front, one in the back, but we'll have that excavator here once we've got to deal with the roof. It's also not even close to far enough, but it's moving. Okay, so I'm on top of the truck. You can see this board was screwed on top. And then it was held against one of these. This one right here. Um, and then there had two more there, but those didn't get screwed on. They were just wedged there. But clearly that didn't work and that fell down. Need more power. Not enough power. Not enough power. Okay, well let's let this charge and we'll do something else. But we gotta come back here. And this room was fully insulated and had its own little ceiling because when we were building it, the rafters were touching this. So we couldn't make, because you could see the tins cut out right there. Well, not cut out, it's just, it didn't get put any there because it had its own roof. But yeah, we'll get that lifted back up somehow and We'll go from there. That tank was empty until it rained into it. Had about two feet in it. A bunch of it drained and then it froze the valve again. Now there's about six, eight inches in it. Okay. We're at the back where we put the, the pipes to the building. This first one, gravity was pushing ice. I think that line is full to the top now. That sucker is frozen all the way through the ground. That thing's gonna well, be- Well, it's not in the ground, it's frozen. Well, this whole section here. Yeah, well, I guess the, ground. the ground's not frozen, yeah. but. It's frozen from here all the way to the ground. Yeah, that is the right way to say that. Um, if it's frozen in the ground, we got big problems. Well, we have two more pipes. <laughs> True, that is why we have an extra one. Um, but yeah, if we're getting this unhooked, that way this wall levels out, we're gonna actually put new two by six on the bottom since it ripped it off and just dealing with the shit show. This post that we put here that we ended up not using actually caught this part of the wall. Maybe it saved more than it hurt. But we checked the vacuum pump is all good. We gotta get this flipped, this roof flipped up or ceiling. I was happy I used these plastic these PVC um, connected PVC because instead of ripping it out of the booster just snap these that's a lot easier and cheaper to fix than that expensive thing that, the whole top drum if that ripped out so I am happy about that they're not cheap but they're a lot cheaper than that <laughs> that's the truth yeah so this is so we got that backside brace uh, he's just gonna come over here We'll pull it back and we'll screw it to that six by six. And uh, we'll have to get everything plumb and square after. I'm just trying to get that wall up so we can take that truck out. And uh, we'll work on everything as we go here, just one step at a time. But we'll have to put some new anchors also on the bottom just because. Uh, I'm sure some of those probably pulled up a little bit. 
because it did move quite a bit. Hear more? Yeah, stop right there. We'll get a. I'll just put one screw in and we'll. We'll get that figured out after. I mean, if the door shuts, that's how we know it's good. Yeah. Come on. Doors never work. Those are like the hardest things to get square. So if you if you just pull the wall back and it closes correctly, you know you're doing it right. But I can already tell that the back wasn't far enough. Yeah. But uh, we'll get that fixed up. We're trying to just get it started. Yeah, and I gotta grab a ladder. He does. This this oil drum is not doing it. Here, we'll see if this door works. Oh, look at the failure. Well, we have partial success. Ripped all our electrical off, but we still have power because it just ripped the ceiling lights and this side off. Everything that was actually where the power came in, and right here, that's all where the damage was. But where the power comes in and the fuse box, everything's good. So, could have been a lot worse. We got that side almost correct. We gotta do a little bit more work on the back here, but right now we just got this board reinforcing it. Already looking better, right Marcus? Yeah. And we used to have a lot of hay right here, like bedding hay, back when this stuff wasn't here, and that's why you see all this loose stuff here. But Marcus is cleaning it up out of here. He's gonna throw it all there. We'll get rid of it after. Um, that way we can put some new a new two by six on the bottom and go from there. This is gonna be kind of, maybe not the most interesting video for people, but uh, it's the work that we got going on right now, right? Yeah. You want to tell the subscribers anything that are watching? What do you want to tell them? Protect your barns and buildings. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> we got it fired up. Marcus actually turned the key and let her have it, right? Yeah. I let, I let him start it. I had to get a fourth battery, and we had to let it charge for a while, but normally three batteries on a truck honestly is fine, but I needed the fourth one because they weren't that strong. Um, yes, this tire is off the bead. It's just been sitting. But uh, now that this is running, we'll let it air up. Hopefully it builds air. The Black Western Star was barely climbing with air pressure. Okay. This truck is climbing with air, so we're good. Um, the Black Western Star was barely climbing. I got like 65 pounds, and then I had to just force. Got the truck out of here. Now we got some more walking space. And that way it's just out of our way. But on to the next part now. And Ferdy is working on the mixer at the farm right now. A chain link broke, so that's why he's here. Not here at the moment. See, this was all very nicely organized. Shells were full of all our stuff and it just all got blown over and mixed and yeah, sucks. Okay. We're on the side of the building right now. We got the Volvo here. I had to actually lift the track up over this rafter because this is the uh, uh, well, truss, whatever you want to call it. This is the end one. And for some reason, when it blew off, this one just fell off the side. There's nothing wrong with it. But I had to get it over that. And Ferdy is putting a new bottom 2x6 in here. Because when it came off, it ripped it off. Um, once he's got that good, we'll use the excavator, we'll push it back. What do you think, Mark? Marcus, you are covered in burdocks. <laughs> I, I ripped a couple junk trees out for him. Before we do that, we gotta get the other wall. We got that as far as we can at this minute. We gotta get this wall up because it's gonna help hold that one. There's nowhere to screw it to. So we went basically a little bit after the wall here. And now uh, we're cutting where one of the tin sheets end, ends right here. So we're cutting on that side. That way it's easy to work with. We were using a skill saw. Our skill saw blew up. The full battery, and I think this doesn't work, so we'll sacrifice the chainsaw. Next best thing. I cut the header with a sawzall. Pretty 
struggling with his jacket right now. He's really mad. His zipper broke. So we'll put that on YouTube. He doesn't know I'm recording. Oh no, it was this one he had. Never mind. It was this one that was good. He still had to cut this one. That was the one that broke on. I don't think he needed to cut that one. This was a connecting point. <laughs> All right. You got Kyle here. He's going to be in this video. And then we were jet heating right there because there was a bunch of ice from the pipe. Well, he has bitching about this one. What? Oh yes, the professional construction people are gonna have something to say here. You guys built new. You wanna move this? Oh yeah, Kyle. Kyle's professional construction probably. Yeah. Professional something. I mean, he's struggling to hit one nail right now. You got two. You got two. <laughs> Barely. But yes, we will have some construction people be like, "What the hell are you guys doing?" And our other building that we built new, it took us a while, but it went. Marcus, you gotta move. Okay, I gotta put this camera down. Alrighty. So we got a long chain. You gotta and, put a hole in there, don't you? Yeah, right around the header. You put two spots and it'll lift it right up. Oh! We gotta get, it's not, you didn't cut all the way. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta kick it. So we got a chain wrapped around two of those, um, two by sixes, and slowly lift it, I guess. Yep. Down there, we gotta kick it out, but it was wed. So we're lifting this up, that way we can have something to wedge that wall, or hold that wall tight with. No, Marcus, don't do that. There's our pipe. That chain slide out at all, no, you're good. It only slides out if you're curled, you're tucked in for transport. You gotta curl it in though, as much as you can. Why? Because you're, you're chain. You're cha Yep. You have to drive ahead now. Because you're dragging the wall towards you. I do not want to stand under that. This is like back in the day in kindergarten, you used Lincoln logs. Right here. Now, now we're just doing it with uh, heavy equipment. All right. Let me put this down. I'll go over there. Don't worry about me. I'm out of the way plenty. <laughs> Trust me. I'm oh, <laughs> behind the piece of machinery that's holding the thing. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. Is that not the safest place to be? There's no way gonna get hit. Do we gotta push that other wall in more first? No. You wanna swing it in? John? Yeah, you keep going. I can't. It's already down. I, I had to pick it back up. I think it's hitting on top of it. I fucking piece of wood right there. Alright.
have to probably pick it up. Yeah, we have to pick it up ourselves. Yeah. Where we gotta go. So we got another tin off. That way where the walls are connecting we can work. We got some wood messing with us. It's not going together correctly, so we're gonna make it work with a little bit of force and hammers. And then we gotta at least open up the bottom, should if they fold up or whatever, to mm. screw and nail the wall back to the floor. Birdie's getting rid of that boards, those boards, and there's hay packed in there. That's like insulation. It is. That is like 1820s insulation right there. No, it's not that old. For God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's when we used to have hay here. It just got in there. Yeah. But come on. I think this was built in. Uh, it just added like. Probably four more. In the 90s? I think in the 90s it got built. I don't remember. 80s. Someone that watches these videos knows when this shed was built, and they're more than likely going to comment, and that's okay. But I don't know when this shed was built. But I do know when it came down. Yes. <laughs> A month ago. <laughs> got monkey Ferdy. Anyways. <laughs> um. We pushed this little section over. Now that we knew where they had to line up, we screwed that to that wall. It's holding this one steady. Technically, we could have done that before the other wall was up, but you know, we didn't think we could. I gotta line stuff up, you know. Oh well, yeah, we lined stuff up. But it is, it's airtight. Well, that's where it was before. But this wall's gotta go that way about another. Oh, I think that sucks. I think there's a lot that sucks. I know. I take this off. Yep. Technically, I should take that off because I, I gotta. We gotta replace this. Replace it. So it's well, if you can get everything screwed together into that wall, then it won't move either. Yeah. And then I can put a brace up to hold it. Well, that was very short lived. I was gonna record that. How about we smoke this? <laughs> it just ran out of diesel. Just Chris thought it was cold. Well, no, I wasn't cold. Okay, let me see cold, how. Let, let me look at Rudolph's cold face. Okay, no, but it is cold. We're all cold. But uh, we were going to set the jet heater up because we're reinforcing that now. Um, no, that is chainsaw fuel. It's, I already uh, melt snow. Um, it didn't take much. But uh, it was not out of fuel. For some reason, it just kicked off. So now, now we'll be warm. We'll have this all secured in a little bit and then we can finish leaning the top over. Marcus had to grab my other battery that was charged and the cold is killing it. But um, we got the bottom secured and now Chris is going to use the excavator and we're going to push it over and hopefully, um, well it's moving. Hopefully we can get it enough to where it's lined up how we need it. Yeah. We got to push that ourselves because the- Look at him go. Cat leg reflexes, I'm telling you, bud. <laughs> Cat leg reflex. So, we're all done with the excavator. <laughs> Did you just meow at him? He did. <laughs> this cold is killing my batteries. <laughs> he just meowed at us. <laughs> all right. We got the excavator holding the outside wall now, and now we're going to fix that top header. Uh, and we'll go from there. He's gonna unscrew that support board that we put. Hi. All right. Well, I had to warm up my camera. This thing sucks in the cold. It sucks in general, but um, the whole time we were straightening that header, making it square. We're using the excavator, pushing it, and they were putting the two by sixes in on the top. That's all done now. Kyle's hiding from the camera, and uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, we got. Put some braces up on this wall to get her straight again. Same thing on that one. And then once we're done that, we can try to work on that actual roof. That'll be part two of yeah. this uh, adventure. And then we don't know if we're gonna stick this up there first or when we flip the roof, we'll stick it on the roof. We honestly don't know yet. If we take the tin off, we can do it after. Why do we want to take the tin off? Wow. Might 
but we're making progress. Yeah. I'll get back up there and just watch. So you can kind of see right in the middle, it bows out. It. Easy, Kristoff. I don't think that's gonna work. You're not gonna have any leverage. You're gonna kind of go straighter. Whoa! That's, that, you had enough. Maybe a little out. Little out. Huh? A little out. <laughs> My God, you suck. In. 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 Yeah, whoa. Okay. The torque level. That won't matter. Huh? Don't let Alan hear that. He'll come down from the King Road and he'll. <laughs> All righty. We're going to put some braces in. We'll move this stuff. Put some braces in. That way we can try to get it straight. We should. I should get a, oh, a string. Run a string over the top. Yeah. Um, that way, uh... A string. <laughs> Show them our roof. Well, I'm no. We're about a string, and we're supposed to put that up there. Well, that way it's straight. Jeez. A string. I guess you can, we can just push it once we have it up there, but you, you can't because you have both excavators already in use. How you... Escalator ain't gonna touch, nothing's gonna touch that one right there, buddy. We'll get it straight. Whatever, I guess. Just put one in the middle and hold it, and then we'll uh, figure out the rest after. We just stood up this end piece, and we're gonna lean against the building with uh, four of us. But I gotta put this down so I can lift. So we got the anchors up here. Oh boy. Kristoff, you're the last person that should be up there. Oh, we got Kyle. <laughs> Kyle should be the last person. <laughs> I mean, y'all want to remove the steel. I got you. I'm going to So, we're going to find where one of these tins... Uh, same thing. Someone is going to say a comment. Guaranteed. Y'all so mean to him. Why are you so mean to him? <laughs> these two right here have been... I'll, I'll leave out the extra word, but they've been buddies. blank buddies. <laughs> Uh, uh, since elementary school. Smart ears. Yeah. Uh, so I think they could say some comments to each other. <laughs> uh, 100. percent All right, we'll cut this up and uh, we're gonna see a floating roof. Where here do you want to cut? That'll be in part two. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll get this video out for tomorrow still, and then part two. Part two. <laughs> yeah. And then in the next video. We'll see It'll already be done by the time this one's yeah, up. Yeah, but it's going to be a floating roof. Yeah. So either I'm going to post something, we did all this work for nothing, well, or... It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be like, this roof's going to, it's either going to crumble when we try lifting and rolling it, or it's going to be floating Worst and good. Worst case, we got, we got rafters from those. If we need to, we'll just haul them here and we'll just all put right. those up. We do have some up there that are semi-decent. If this doesn't work, we fuck it up. We'll do that. Yeah. It would honestly almost be faster if we just did that. We put the roof is on. But you still get the bottom. You still have the fucking all the pipes there. Yeah. We need to yeah, move it got, for the maple so pipe. So we're gonna move it either way. We're gonna try and this operation. It's gonna be fun. That tin for the ceiling is brand new. And it's still there. Yeah. I, that's the reason these rafters didn't break. Is because of that new tin. <sighs> they held it. This, this man out here with a chainsaw or a sledgehammer. <laughs> He's gonna cut the boards and his fat ass is gonna walk up and it's not gonna go well. <laughs> like those movies, like those videos you've been watching. Exactly, it'd be like those that. Those dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> They you walk up with and fall through anyway. <laughs> you, right here. This is the alien. Right? Fuck it. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find the bottom. <laughs> he hit a nail already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go over here. You're doing great. It's I heard it. Oh boy. 
What are you doing? <laughs> I say screw. Well, the hurricane strike. Just so anyone knows, there were hurricane straps on it this. Just fucking ripped it all off. But it was too much wind. But yeah. I'm gonna put this down. My battery probably won't last long anyways if I keep using it for this, but you'll see what we're doing. That's where our tin splice is. Same thing we did here. And we're gonna write down it. There's the telephone pole that made sure we knew where to divide it. Yep. That's why that pole was there. And um, tomorrow when there's daylight and we gotta get the other excavator, we have an idea and you guys will see in the next video. But um, that's for the next video, how we're gonna do it. We stopped cutting because we're gonna cut the tin first. And this is junk. It's all balled up and everything, so we'll have to replace it. But he's cutting it so when we flip the building, it doesn't cause more. Oh, there he goes. He's like the videos you watch, Christoph. He just falls through the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> we're okay. Hey, I gotta go home real quick. I'll be right back. All right. I gotta give Stanley. I gotta give Stanley the radiator. Yeah. Oh, I just went through and cut all that. And Purdy is going to take all the lights off. It's nice that I, I, I just put them all on outlets now. Yeah, that that's how he started doing lights. We plug-ins, normal, even if it's on the ceiling or wall. That way, when they go, it's just easy replacing. No more wiring all the time. You can do everything on the floor and then just go up there, hang it, plug it in. And for this situation, we can unhook it. That way, when we flip the building back, um, these don't pop off and... Uh, Hit the ground. Exactly. Right. Not the battery. But yes. This ceiling tin we put on definitely is what held this. Uh, these rafters good, I think. Okay. We did as much as we could on that side today. We gotta do some bracing tomorrow uh place the object in there we're going to use we're going to move these this wall that's underneath all this junk wood and the other one that way we can drive right here yeah uh with the other excavator and um marcus you want to shut that excavator off so we gotta get that done but tomorrow we're gonna work on lifting that and we're not too worried about this part of the roof because that stuff is totaled uh, you can easily see that but uh yeah, we're gonna drag these out of the way and we're not just gonna drive over them. Um, and then, yeah, that's the next step on the project. So stay tuned if you want, want to see how this goes because I right. want to know too. Hey, two days, shed, well, this quarter of the shed will be back up. Yeah, uh, this part is, this part isn't a big deal right now, but we need to be able to turn the vacuum pump and stuff on. Yeah, and we need to have these pipes. And it's not the fact, like, you want to have the heated room and no rain in the tanks and stuff like that and yeah there's no point in just making a little thing for the vacuum and stuff because it's all in there so yeah. i'm just gonna do it all yep put her back i would love to just place the roof back on but it ain't gonna work nope. too broken sadly but yeah thanks for watching and till the next one all right